directions. Choose the letter of the best answer and write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. Number 1. The sexual reproduction, where the organism splits into two separate organisms, like in bacteria, is called A. Budding, B. Binary fission, C. Fragmentation, D. Parthenogenesis. 2. A new individual grows on the body of each parent like hydro and yeast, is called A. Budding, B. Binary fission, C. Fragmentation, D. Parthenogenesis. 3. Reproduction in animals that involves production of a new living organism by combining two gametes from different organisms, one male producing mutile gamete that must fuse with the egg cell from female organism is called asexual, B asexual, C both A and B, or D none of A and B. Number 4. Sperm cell and egg cell are used in sexual reproduction among animals. This refers to the collective term for sperm and egg cells, A gametes, B body cells, C both A and B, or D none of A and B. 5. Choose the statement that is true about the sexual reproduction in animals. A. Utilize gametes of the body. B. Variety of genetic makeup is produced. C. Involves more amount of time in the process. Or D. Produce offspring which are identical with the parents. 6. Giraffe and lion are examples of A. Oviparous B. Viviparous C. Both A and B or D. None of A and B 7. Salmon and other bony fish are examples of A. Oviparous B. Viviparous C. Both A and B or D. None of A and B Number 8. This refers to the mechanism of asexual reproduction in which female offspring develops from unfertilized eggs A. Budding B. Fragmentation C. Parthenogenesis or D. Transverse Fission Number 9. It involves direct reproduction in which each portion regenerates missing parts to become a complete new animal depending on the axis of separation A. Budding B. Fragmentation C. Parthenogenesis or D. Transverse Fission 10. Which of the following statements is or are true? 1. Sexual reproduction does not involve the union of the meats and it does not change the number of chromosomes present. 2. A sexual reproduction does not involve the union of gametes and does not change the number of chromosomes present. A. Statement 1 is correct. B. Statement 2 is correct. C. Statement 1 and 2 are both correct. D. Statement 1 and 2 are both incorrect.